are here to worship Almighty God, whose purposes are good, whose power sustains the world he has made, who loves us though we have failed in his service, who gave Jesus Christ for the life of the world, who by his Holy Spirit leads us in his way. As we give thanks for his great works, we remember those who have lived and died in his service and in the service of others. We pray for all who suffer through war and are in need. We ask for his help and blessing, that we may do his will, and that the whole world may acknowledge him as Lord and King. A reading from the book of Revelation. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life, with its twelve kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there any more. But the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will be no more night. They need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Let us pray for the peace of the world. 
for statesmen and rulers that they may have wisdom to know and courage to do what is right. For all who work to improve international relationships, that they may find the true way to reconcile people of different race, color, and creed. For men, women, and children the world over, that they may have justice and freedom and live in security and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of war and violence, for the injured and disabled, for those psychologically distressed, for those whose faith in God and mankind has been weakened or destroyed, for the homeless and refugees, for those who are hungry, and for all who have lost their livelihood and security. For those who mourn the dead, those who have lost husband or wife, children or parents, and especially those who have no hope in Christ to sustain them in their grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, infinite in wisdom, love and power, have compassion on those for whom we pray and help us to use all suffering in the cause of your kingdom through, our, through him who gave himself for us on the cross, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and those whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of mankind. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. The going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them we will remember them. Almighty and eternal God, for whose love in Christ we cannot be parted either by death or life, 
Hear our thanks, prayers and thanksgivings for all whom we remember this day. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love and bring us all with them to your eternal joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God, grant to the living grace, to, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave today. Sweetie.